Gents, thanks for the trouble. What a legendary song. I love it. I mean, that's from your album, Everything Since Then. Probably some of your greatest work to date. Since then, <laughs> yeah, correct. Yeah. So we are, we're very proud of it. Um, it. We didn't know if we were able to pull it off uh, because we were in different cities. So we managed, we managed to do it. We all have a lot going on in our in personal capacities. But we got together and there was just a lot of magic and I think the main thing was just laughter, you know? We, it's such a fun thing to do that none of us ha hassled about doing it. And we produced something that we're incredibly proud of and people need to know about it. I think at the time art was maybe in Durban or Cape Town, it was between cities. So um, <laughs> Brent up. and I were, you know, we were non-stop busy in our different projects and um, art just arrived. And he was like, I've moved to Johannesburg now, guys, let's, let's record a record. Gents, you clearly have a fantastic chemistry, but What's it like playing together again? Like we, we always joke about having a laugh and, and we always just just falls into place, all the jokes fly, but the the love for each other and the respect we have for each other has always been there. And uh, the album came together just as, as naturally as before, as did the live album that we you know, stopped and waiting now. So. On the album Everything Since Then, Art and the band have written 11 new songs. They've lost none of the edge that took them to the top. Brent, the guys say that you're a bit of a collector. From what I can see, that's yeah. very true. It's pretty cool, you know. Yeah. Selling almost 300,000 albums was pretty, it's, it's not just a rare thing those days, it's pretty much impossible these days. Of course, there was a live before Just Ginger and you performed for some seriously big names. Myself and Vernie were in a band called uh, Two Princes. It was the Spin Doctors inspired name. This is a picture of us at uh, Super Bowl. And we opened up for Joe Cocker. And uh, the band was only 24 hours old and we got to, uh, to play at the Super Bowl. Still learning words and stuff, but it's fun. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool, man. But I mean, you've got two families, just Ginger being one of them, and uh, you've got two kids and a wife. Yeah. How's that impacted your life? Uh, my family is everything to me. Um, you know, I've got a beautiful shot of my son here at Kirsten Bosch Garden. He was two and a half years old, playing air guitar. Wow, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, right? Very, very cool. That's when he had the nerve to walk on stage and do things like that in front of 6,000 people. He was pretty, he was pretty uh, fearless those days. Do you think he's going to be a bit of a rock himself? Um, I think he's going to be a soccer player. So. My kind of guy. <laughs> I'm speaking of that, memorabilia-wise, I got my... Uh, Is that Tottenham? Yeah, that's a spare shirt. Uh, I know a guy that uh, got it signed by, the, by Bale before he went to Real Madrid and the rest of the team. And there's my, there's my beautiful son. By default, as a Spurs fan as well. <laughs> I also understand that you've collected scrapbooks over the years. I'd like to see the before to now. I've got hundreds and hundreds of thousands of photographs. I've got so many scrapbooks, it's, it's, it's insane. But I'll show you a little bit. Oh, many a band, many a scrapbook, many a photograph. Ah, oh, this is a really cool picture. Uh, you know they say pictures tell a thousand words? What's that saying right there? That was us uh, messing around uh, near Ponty. We're having a lot of fun here. Yeah, this was uh, just before the All Comes Round album was recorded in uh, Bob Studios. Um, it was, uh, we were all very innocent and like unaware of, of times to come. You know? Did you think that the band was going to be a success back then? No. I think the record company at the time was like, if you sell 4,000 albums, we'll be happy. And yeah, we wow. did 4,000 albums plus. What got them to 300,000 sales was a string of eight number one hits. A feat worth capturing in a commemorative photo. Hank, how are you going to bring these fantastic dudes' personalities to life? Basically, they're giving me this poster from the tour in 1998 Australia. So we're going to try and recreate this to show people where they came from and how they've turned out and how they are now. Let's see if I can help you direct the show. Okay. The band's name comes from the expression, everything's just ginger. In other words, everything's just dandy. And that spirit is still strong between the three amigos. Right, cool, let's have a look. Oh, it's just looking good. Come on, let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. Here we go, chaps. Nice. Yeah, wow, nice. that's wow. close. Very nice. Yeah, man, very close. Very awesome, good. Man. Gentlemen, 18 years later, how does it feel to reenact this moment? Uh, it feels as though we did that a little over 17 years ago, to be honest. <laughs> it actually, it is a trip. We, uh, we, we were kids then, we're probably still kids now. Yeah. Well, yeah. gents, your music is timeless. You guys are looking good and you're ready to rock and roll. Guys, I think you're in a, for a surprise tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah.